Alright, so I'm back. I just got out of Walmart. I've decided that this whole weekend, well, tonight and tomorrow, all night, and then Sunday morning. So I'm going to survive on Mountain House camping meals. I don't think I'm going to have a bit of problem with it. I love them, and uh, they taste great. I'm not endorsed by Mountain House, and in case you're listening to Mountain House, I'd uh, love to be endorsed by it because I eat a crap ton of them. But anyway, long story short... I think they're pretty damn good but uh, I'm sitting here we're on our way to the campground now I should be able to check in and get it set up hopefully before dark but I'm gonna start a fire start a start a little meal cooking and get a little hot water boiling and have me some dinner then I'm gonna set up shop and get ready to go to bed tonight mainly and then I'm gonna get up and go fishing in the morning but uh, oh got deer awesome all right, I'll talk to you in a minute. So give me a few minutes and we'll get this thing uh, sorted out, get everybody in for the night hopefully, and uh, we'll see where we're gonna be. All right, we got our handy dandy little park map and we're gonna cruise up in here. This is the sea loop at Wax Campground. I think we're gonna have a good night. Looks like we got some neighbors out here chilling around. Good little puppy dogs walking. campers and shit. It's just awesome. C-17. I'm going for C-23. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright everybody, well here's here's home for the night and uh, I have to admit this is it's way cool. I'm right here on the water. I think I'm gonna ask for this spot quite often. I got the kayak right over there. I've got my got my uh, camper right there. <laughs> Joke, but anyway, you know, it's gonna be a great night. I can't wait to I can't wait to jump in here and start making camp. So I'm gonna get busy, okay? Take it take it easy for a few minutes.
Camp Colorado back up and running. Coming at you tonight from Wax Campground in Nolan Lake. And that's how the Napier truck tent looks when it's put in, except for the dirty pair of shorts that I accidentally left in there from last camp season, which who knows. But I'm gonna throw my bed in here, here in just a second and use my pump and pump it up and get ready to take a night cap. All right, so I've got my Intex camping bed here from Bass Pro Shop. It's one of the best investments that I ever made. And let me tell you something, when I say it's the best, it's the most comfortable bed I've ever slept on in my life. I did bring my brand new Blue Eddy uh, power source. Um, I've never used this really, so this is the first time I got it from Amazon. And uh, let's just see how it works. It's at 100% full charge tonight, I think, right here. We'll do that 100%. Even got a cool little light. Boop. Okay. Well, so. We're gonna use this. It should work all night. It should charge the laptop, should charge uh, anything I've got. So let's see what we do. Just let my, my bed do the pump in there. So I'll get a good little glimpse inside there while that's coming up. Blue Eddy at work. Bed coming up. And like I said, best night's sleep I've had. And that's saying a lot. Oh, I've got some I got some straps up there that aren't taken care of. I need to fix that in a minute. while the bed's working. So what I'm going to say is, you know, as I was younger, I was like, oh man, it'd be cool to get a truck that's jacked up got the big old tires on it man that sounds cool so at almost 50 i decided hey i'm gonna get that cool truck that's all jacked up and guess what my knees are all jacked up so now i have to use a step stool to get up in the stupid thing but it is what it is i'm gonna enjoy it as long as i can i did bring a little bit of extra cover so I don't get frozen to death. all the way down to I think 20 degrees or whatever I don't 
think I'm gonna have any worries with that. Ready to go. Well, there we have it. Camp is, for the most part, set up. Do I know that's cheating? Of course I do. But, as God gave us opposable thumbs, He gave us the ability to grip tools, which a lighter is a tool. I'm also a tool, but that's all right. So I got power going. I know I cheated, but that's all right.
this weekend's fun is I've decided that I'm gonna uh, live off of mountain house uh, camping meals, adventure meals or what they're, whatever they're called, you know? So uh, that's just gonna be part of the fun. And, and with that, I just wanna take and uh, show you what I'm gonna be doing for tonight. So I've got mountain house uh, chicken teriyaki. Uh, if you've never seen these, they're pretty cool. I mean, I love them. I, they taste really well, and uh, they're very, very simple. I mean, you've seen every YouTuber on the planet use them, and uh, therefore, they've got to be pretty decent. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that aside right there. Got my can of Coleman fuel. Got my little burner. I'll put that on there. Okay, I'll set my set my little burner hole or pot holders there, and in my little dry bag here, I've got a little cheap camping kit, a little cooking kit, uh, just for such occasions as this that I can uh, I can drop everything and run real quick and have a have a little camping trip if I want. And I say that it took me almost two hours to load this stupid truck last night with everything I thought I was going to need. And then changed my mind and, and decided I was just going to make it an, an adventure meal weekend because I didn't want to cook. But I did start a fire because you can't have a camp without a fire. And, uh, so there we go. you've seen these uh i got this off of wish.com and let me tell you it was the best 14 bucks i have ever spent so well, let me see what this says here preparation carefully add one to two thirds cups of water or 13 ounces so we've got a grand, uh, graduated um pot right here so i got 12 take my little handy dandy bottle of water fill it up so it's a 20 ounce bottle so I'm not gonna quite need all of it give it a little give it a little bit more and I have found that whatever they say is quite uh, it's quite liberal you don't have to you don't have to use the whole amount because it makes it a little bit more liquidy because I don't like to I don't like to wait so let me go ahead and turn this uh, turn this little fire place on here Okay, I guess I got a light with this. I guess I don't have a lighter. Alright. I was hoping it'd have a lighter for what I spent on it, but that's alright. We'll boil up some water here. So you take your mountain house meal, tear it at the notch. Because, well, why would you tear it any other place other than a notch? It's already on the bag. That looks really, really good. Uh, make sure you take out the um, little silicone packet. You imagine those don't taste very well. And, you know, probably wouldn't be good on your system. Oh man, that smells so good. I can't wait to dig into this. I mean, it's uh, chicken teriyaki with rice, green peas, carrots, peppers, onions. Ha, everything I like. Make sure we keep our trash picked up because we want to leave Mother Nature better than we found her. Because sometimes she's just sloppy and people need help picking their crap up. Because this is a beautiful campground, folks, and I'll be honest with you, I want to make it sure it stays that way. I mean, I wish I, I, I really got to show you the sunset. So we got our water boiling, or starting to boil. Uh, it doesn't take very long with this little burner and these these little pots. It's it's the perfect combination for a quick weekend getaway. I have went way overboard this weekend bringing stuff, 
I should have just brought like a little a little backpack full of uh, full of some meals, some water, just enough to last me and some cold drinks. That's really all I needed. Um, but better to have it and not want it than want it and really not have it. Uh, I would advise anybody that's watching this to get three or four of these, a little can of fuel, and one of these little cheap cooking kits, and keep it in your car. A couple bottles of water. Um, I'm no prepper or anything, and, and I never wanted to be, but I tell you that, uh, you know, you never know when you're gonna get stuck out. Just this last, this past winter, I know people were stuck out on interstates for seven, eight hours at a time. They didn't have food. Uh, they were stuck there all night, some nights. Um, they really, they really could have used one of these little things. All right, so we got boiling water now. All right, so take this off the thing, turn my, turn my gas off, and I'm gonna try not to scald myself through this table. So I'm not gonna use all of that. I think it's just going to be too soupy if I do. And you take it and just seal it up with the zipper. Seal it right up. Oh, I was supposed to stir carefully. Ooh, that's starting to smell like good Chinese food, honestly. The fork, that'll work. I got, my, I got my sporks and stuff inside the truck. I'm gonna stir you up to make it good and happy. And then, uh... Woo! That's hot. I think I'm gonna need some salt, too. I always love a little salt. I really need to find that off though. I'm getting eat up out here. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. I've got my, I got my mountain house meal and I've, I boiled my water and I mixed it up. Uh, the only thing I can think about is that you really need to let it sit. Probably, it says five minutes, but I'm gonna say 10 to 15 if you're not in a hurry and you're not super starving or whatever. And if you've got some salt and pepper or anything to put in it, that, that helps because uh, it makes it a lot, makes it a lot better. Oh, all right, well. Got a low battery already. So I'm gonna hook that into my Blue Eddy here in a minute and charge this mug. So let's uh, let's just kind of take a take a little taste. Always have a long handled spork or spoon in your kit with you. And that way you can uh, you can get a good a good bite, get good down in there, mix it all around. Oh man, I tell you what, I am starving. I haven't eaten much today was busy at work now I'm gonna dig into this and enjoy it bon appetit oh man mm. that's good right there and I mean I'm not promoting this because they're paying me I'm promoting it because it's delicious I'm a fat man and I love to eat and this makes it very simple and easy to go out and enjoy yourself you don't have to be a super chef I mean, I see a lot of people that, you know, they cook over the fire and they pre prepare some of these most wonderful looking dishes. Some of them, they just eat what they catch. I'm not that great of a fisherman, so I'm pretty much reliant on whatever I can pack. But let me tell you something, this is good. And I'm going to shut up now and uh, I'm going to get back to it here in just a second. Well, good morning. It's, uh, it's about six o'clock. Um, Clarkson time and uh, you can see the fishermen are already out they've been out for a couple hours uh, the glitter boats have been flying up and down the lake already at about 90 miles an hour in the dark 
I can't even imagine. Oh, but it's all right. A couple really cool keys and points of interest. It is colder than a well digger's butthole out here. Um, it's August and it's 56 or 5 degrees, something like that. Well, I don't know about you, but that uh, that equals cold. And I'm freezing. Well, that being said, I ask for every bit of this. <laughs> um, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to make some essentials this morning. I'm going to make some coffee. I'm going to try to make some coffee. And I'm going to make uh, a breakfast uh, breakfast skillet. Mountain House Meals, Adventure Meals, uh, Breakfast Skillet. So it says it's uh, shredded potatoes, scrambled eggs mixed with pork sausage, peppers, and onions. I'm excited, honestly. I'm very, very excited. So I'm gonna get my little, my little pot out here. Let me see how much water I gotta get. Uh, one and a quarter cups, 10 fluid ounces. 10 ounces. There go, there's 10 ounces for that. The rest of this is gonna be for coffee. Lighter got wet last night, apparently. And uh, I don't know if it's gonna light. Could spell disaster. Well, if first you don't succeed, try again, because this lighter that I bought at Walmart won't light. Well, it did light, okay. After I went through all that, okay. it's all right. Never tie, they never tear at the notches, ever. It's like Cracker Jacks in every box. That's pretty good, actually. I can live with it. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I'm gonna try it like I like crap to get it to work because I really would like some coffee. Mm. It's only like a one or two cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
put it in here and make it work just like a tea bag, hopefully. So I've discovered that <coughs> that uh, if you don't have a coffee pot, you can take these little pack, these little things like this, and they're uh, exactly like a tea bag. So you can put them in there, and as long as you don't squish them and break all the coffee out of it, theoretically, it should taste pretty decent. We're gonna try that because I need some coffee. And it may be just like sugar flavored water, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Cheers. Not the best cup of coffee I've ever had in the world, but you know what? It beats no coffee. That's a, that's a fact. Mm. So we got our little, we got our little uh, pot of water boiling over here again for our mountain house meal. And uh, after I get that done and get all my faculties straight, we're gonna go fishing. We are gonna go fishing. I'm trying to determine whether I want to pull the kayak to the boat ramp or just put it in right here. I feel like I could put it in right here, but it's going to be heavy as balls. Dragging it down this, this uh, embankment right here. Just don't know what to do. This is already, I, I just put my water in and I'm going to stir it up a little bit. And add some salt and pepper right off the bat. That was well. It's gonna need it, I'm sure. Stir, give it another little stir here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we seal her up. It says wait five minutes, stir it, and do it again, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna just give it several minutes to get mixed up good. Now that's 520 calories right there. Uh, if, you're on a, if you're watching your calorie count, that's uh, for a 2,000 calorie diet, it's a quarter of your daily rations. But, you know, it shouldn't be too awful bad for you. Know, I don't know. I'm a diabetic, so that's got six grams of sugar in it. It's probably not not the best for me, um, but it's all right. I mean, it's once in a while splurge. I don't do this. I don't live off of them every day, but it's an, it's enjoyable. Coffee's not terrible, so uh, we're gonna. We're gonna uh, do a little thing, do a few things around camp here while I'm waiting on, waiting on that coffee to, or I mean the mountain house to fix up and get going good. Clean my house up a little bit here. Something needs doing, big time.
cannot say I cannot say it again how much this little thing is invaluable. I love it. I love it. Love it. One of my favorite purchases of Wish.com. beginning to notice it's getting a little boring here at the moment um, showing you just the mountain house meals but um, here's here's dinner um, it's a chili mac mountain house meal and I've had these several times and they are absolutely wonderful it's a little warm it's about 84 degrees with high humidity out here today and uh, it doesn't seem like it would be that hot but it's fairly hot and uncomfortable so I got my little burner going, boiling me some water, getting the water good and good and mad. I'm gonna turn it up here and get a little bit, a little bit hotter juice going. And then we're gonna get this chili mac with beef going for din dins. All right, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.